Welcome to another episode of Blind Grilling. I'm Chris Peltz and we are going to be fixing up a mess of burnt ends. Got 15 pounds of burnt ends from City Butcher here in Springfield. I've been working on uh, some coarse ground pepper. Got three quarters of a cup of coarse ground pepper. Gonna put three quarters of a cup of some coarse ground uh, kosher salt and get this all mixed up together. And what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna use a little bit of grapeseed oil. We're gonna put some grapeseed oil on all of this meat just to kind of help hold everything together. I'm gonna pull these brisket points out of here, kind of show you what we're messing with. They've got it wrapped up for me. Oh, nice. That's a big one right there. Wahoo. All right. So we're gonna get our cutting board out. We're gonna work on getting these a little bit of oil on them, and we're gonna put some salt and pepper on them, let them set the rest of the day to kind of soak that up. Tonight, we're gonna to be firing up the big green egg. We got the flame boss gonna be hooked up, and it's gonna be keeping track of our temperature for us. We're gonna cook these all night, and we're gonna eat good tomorrow. So stay tuned. You're gonna to want to uh, follow us on this overnight cook. Thanks for watching Blind Grilling. All right, Thanks. folks, so we've got our first brisket point here for our burn ends about ready. I'm gonna put a little bit of grape seed oil on this thing. Get it turned over here. And this grape seed oil really doesn't have flavor. We don't want the oil to give this meat flavor. So uh, we're just, uh, what this is gonna do is really help keep the seasoning, which is just salt and pepper. So all we've got coarse ground salt, coarse ground pepper. Uh, I do a 50-50 mix. And so we're just gonna get this salt rubbed in and we're gonna do all five of these points with this salt and pepper mixture. So I'm gonna work on these and get them ready. Then we're gonna let them set, bring them to room temperature while we get the egg ready. And we're gonna co be cooking these overnight. All right, folks, we've uh, been letting these set out for about an hour and a half, bring them to room temperature. Uh, we've got about 15 pounds of burnt ends, put them on a V-rack right here. This one's gonna go directly on uh, the egg at the rack outside, we've got the plate setter set in for an indirect cook. We've got the flame boss helping us out, keeping it at about 225. And so we're gonna let these go for about 12 hours. Then we're gonna let them rest uh, for about six hours. Our internal temp we're shooting for is 185 degrees. But once we put them on, we're closing the egg down. We're not touching them because like we always say, if you're looking, you ain't good. Okay. All right. so. Uh, we've got the egg fired up. We've got the flame boss connected just to kind of show you. Thursday, April 21st, gives the date. Online, online. It's online. 225 degrees. 225 degrees is what we've set the pit to be at. 223 is the actual temp of the pit. So, so I can monitor. I can see everything as far as listening to it. Uh, again, what it, I'll show you this. So 225 is what it said. If I wanted to change the parameter and raise the temp or lower the temp, you go there. Now that shows up, but voiceover doesn't give me access to that. So I can't change parameters. So with sighted help, someone can grab my phone from anywhere and they can change that for me and help me. Uh, but uh, So I can't change the parameters. But beyond that, I've got access to everything else. I can name the cook. I can tell... Um, say what I'm doing and give folks the information if they want to follow the cook. Uh, so again, uh, it, it's great. I just wanted to go do a, just real quick to kind of show you uh, that you know I can monitor everything. Just can't change the parameters yet, but I'm you know Flame Boss, great customer service so far. Um, so I'm sure if there's anything they can do to help me with that, they will. Uh, but again, appreciate y'all watching Blind Grilling. 
Remember, if you're looking, you ain't cooking. All right, folks. It is Friday morning after a long cook with the Flame Boss taking care of business. I've actually taken a couple of the burn ends off and put them in the wrapped up, put them in the cooler. Just going to kind of show you before I grab these other two. Uh, hopefully, with the blind guy working the camera, hopefully, I'm able to see just a little bit here. Sorry if it's a little rough, but uh, man, it smells amazing. Going to take these off. They've been on, oh, I would say. 11 and a half hours and getting ready to let them rest for about six hours before cutting them up and serving but uh, anyway I really appreciate y'all watching blind grilling flame boss took care of business overnight you know one of the you, you think all right set it and leave it and it's great um, but with the first night, I was a nervous wreck myself, so um, it was hard just to uh, let it go without waking up and checking on it. Um, but hey, I was able to do that from my phone, so that, that's amazing. I love it. Uh, appreciate everybody watching Blind Grilling. Remember, if you're looking, you ain't cooking, and look forward to sharing more videos with you later please comment like check us out on twitter as well